Welcome to this tutorial about IEEE 802.1 AR Secure Device Identifiers. My name is Florian and I will show you today how to set up EJBCA Community Edition to generate uh, identities or identifiers described in the specification. So we are starting with a quick intro, uh, set up EJBCA and then finally test everything. So 802.1 AR describes basically three parts, um, two identities or the identifiers, the IDEF ID, which is the initial device identifier um, provided by the device manufacturer, um, securely stored on the hardware, the LDEF ID, which is the locally significant uh, device identifier, provided by an integrator or asset owner and this could basically be an OPC UA or MQTT certificate um, and a software stack beneath it so um, which does the management the validation and other stuff so let's get started with setting up EJBCA Now deployed our EJBCA Community Edition in version 8, um, we access the admin web and uh, now we can configure our uh, EJBCA. So um, we already defined the root CA, we defined our REST interface, um, this is also covered in other tutorials. Um, and what we want to do now is uh, setting up an issuing CA. Therefore, we need to create a crypto token. We need to create a certificate profile for our issuing CA. And then finally, uh, add our CA to each APCA. And then we can create a certificate profile and an entity profile for our IDEF ID certificate. So let's get started. Crypto token, we go to crypto token, create a new one and call it IDEF ID CA crypto token. It's a soft token, we use auto activation and allow the export of private keys, define an authentication code, click save, and now we create free key pairs. A sign key, an encrypt key, and finally a test key. Okay, so now we go to certificate profiles and Add a new profile which we call issuing CA profile I def ID. Click add and we create now a sub CA with ECDSA and RSA as available key algorithms. Our validity is 10 years for our CA. And we leave the other parameters. Click save. Now we go to certificate authorities and create our certificate of authority, which we call issuing CA I def ID. So we use our previously generated crypto token we sign it with our root CA and we use our certificate profile which we created the validity is also 10 years 
and we leave the other parameters. Now we created our CA. And define our certificate profiles and entity profiles for our IDEF ID. Therefore we go to certificate profiles, define a new certificate profile. Click add and now we edit our profile. So we have an end entity. We want to use ECDSA and RSA. We leave the bit length and curve types um, according to the specification. Um, the validity is unlimited. So we define 999 minus 12 minus 31. We leave the other options as they are. Uh, for key usage, we use digital sign signature, non-repudiation, key encipherment, and for the extended key usage, we use client authentication. So leaving the other parameters, clicking save, and now we head over to end entity profiles. We define a new end entity. For our IDEF ID, add a profile and edit it. Okay, so now we can define um, the subject attributes. So we can choose whatever we want. Um, the common name is required. Uh, we can add our organization or our country and typically there is a serial number for device which we can also add um, and for the subject alternative names um, we could use the IP address of the device we could use the uh, URI which is defined and so basically whatever we want now we choose our default certificate profile, which is our end entity profile IDEF ID. We choose our default CA, which is our issuing CA for the IDEF ID. And we choose our default token, which is a P12 file. Clicking save. And now we have everything in each ABCA, each ABCA is set up, so um, now we can go to the testing. Now we will test our setup and therefore we prepare the device um, with a software stick on it, um, which has all the functionalities described in 802.1AR. Um, so we're logging into the device. We go to the directory and there we will find some functionalities and one of them is uh, the initial bootstrapping of our IDEF ID. So we execute a script and what's happening next is we will generate a key pair a private and public key pair um, which is stored on an HSM. It will take some time. Afterwards we will generate a CSR and send our REST request to our HABCA and there we get our certificate and store it also on the HSM. So that's it. Um, we showed you how to make an implementation of the IEEE 802.1AR uh, concept. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.